What's going on, everybody? All right, I got the uh, red tail over here scanning. Should I figure out what was causing the interference? Let me shut a bunch of things off. Um, I just turned on only what I need. So so far, it seems like it's working fine. I haven't picked up the weird noises. However, I did notice that all of a sudden they have really jumped the price up on this radio. It's actually $39. Okay, so let's get in here. What? They're playing games here. Okay. So, I'm glad I screenshotted it yesterday evening. It went up to 39 now it's back to 35 and three dollars off they're just playing weird games with this radio so I think what happened was there was only two left when I bought it they had limited stock and um, they continued to offer the deal for a while so when they have limited stock sometimes they charge differently um, this is really weird so I never understand why Amazon does what they do and that's why when I tell you guys here's the deal jump on it that's what uh, why I, I post it and share it with you because you know a couple hours from now it might not even be on here so the radio is Thirty three ninety nine basically plus tax. So actually the other one with the microphone and the programming cable and the extra antenna might not be such a bad deal after all. It's a very good radio so far, I can tell. Like um the only thing I've noticed sort of strange is the RSI meter maybe maybe. Um there's also this little gauge right here it says volume it doesn't do anything I don't know what the point of it is it just it just looks like that so but I programmed it with chirp really easy and I haven't found anything on the airband yet I did see that it does receive on frequencies way out of band we were able to receive on FM on 27 megahertz. Um, so they say the firmware is updatable. How you do that, I don't know. Maybe you hold the PTT and turn it on and something like that, like the other ones. Um, I haven't really dug around and looked into it, but so they're playing games of the price of this thing for sure. And they only seven left. Well, that's what it said like a few times. So, and then they got the eight nineties thirty five with a six dollar coupon. Yeah, this this company's always got really weird prices. Like I think. When I bought the 890, it was $29 with a coupon. <laughs> this one's expensive. Here's the other 470. So what I do know about Chirp is Chirp supports all their 470s. I, I don't know if it, I think it might support the 490. Let's go over here and check. Close out chirp. Uh, I gotta save the file. Okay. I don't know why I don't have a shortcut to chirp. Okay, I just want to check this really quick before I 
open my big mouth download from radio okay these are the options for red tail the regular 470 the L the X the 490 and whatever the T18 is okay let's have a look and see So this one there, the $75 GPS one is supported. And then everything else they sell is something else. I haven't seen this one. This is new. It says it's waterproof. It even says right on the radio. Must be. Okay. Uh, 10 watts IP67 I thought IP67 was just splash proof <coughs> I don't know it looks kind of compact Edit channel name and A and I name by Radio Keypad. What's A and I name? I don't understand that. <coughs> <coughs> this one does some weird crap too. When you transmit number one, it's some A and I deal. Anyway, I've never seen this one before. And then there's this one. A lot of money. And that one, same thing. Anyway, I'm going to just post up and show you guys the yo-yo prices.